I did chemistry in university, so I went to Queens, and then I traveled to New Zealand, and that's when I was first offered a job on a construction site when I needed money, and I realized I really enjoyed it. From test tubes to hammers, Nicole Ross found her passion through a gig to make some money while away and hasn't looked back. My first project was building a wall, and I remember calling my mom, and I was very excited. I remember calling her and said, like, I framed out a wall, and I know how to do a top plate and a bottom plate and studs, and I was, uh, yeah, I was really excited. <laughs> Ross is now bringing her passion for the trades as a shop teacher to the students at Neil McNeil High School. The school at the Toronto Catholic District School Board offers the Specialist High Skills Major Program that offers students hands-on learning that help them towards many different career paths, including the trades. I'm interested in pursuing a job in the trades. We get to try a lot of new skills, like we do sheet metal work, we do concrete, we do wood projects like this. And I like building stuff and th this class definitely helped me choose what I want to do in the future. I want to be a carbon making, so basic construction. The program also provides students with the opportunity to work and learn from people in the industry. In fact, City News was sent this video of students getting the chance to partner with the Carpenters Union Local 27 and Don Fry Scaffold Services to provide real world work experience on a scaffold, as well as award students with their working at Heights certification. I wanted to have a real life experience where they were able to see the importance of working at Heights in a very safe environment. And so we had them all with their PPE, their harnesses, their double lanyards. We had a professional company come out, so they're all Red Seal qualified. I think it's huge. They're seeing the success rate of a lot of the students and even graduating students coming back and now being set up with the apprenticeships because of those links to actual industry. And so instead of just giving them classroom experience where, you know, they, they do classroom projects, which is great, they now are meeting with industry professionals who can actually get them training agreements and actually sign them up. They're able to streamline that apprenticeship where they're able to literally sign up the students and get them working right when they graduate and having those connections where they met the people who will help them with those jobs. They met, you know, different representatives representatives at the union who can then help streamline that process so that they're able to be successful in their career is invaluable. The program is entirely funded by the province, which also recently announced a new mandatory technological education credit for Ontario high school students. Starting in September 2024, all grade 9 and 10 students will need the credit to graduate. In Toronto, I'm Brandon Rowe for City News.